my co-worker has the system beat and they can't do anything to fire him. My co-worker shits for six hours a shift. Six whole fucking hours. He got a doctor's not saying he has IBS and could be using the bathroom at all times so he does. He seriously is only seen at breaks and lunch and he does 1.5 to 2 hours of work a day. We are slow in his department so he just fucks around. Management has tried to fire him several times and there isn't shit they can do. We have a dude who's basically Dwight Schrute has no real power but tries to get people fired he wasted his whole day using a stopwatch and timing this dude he did it for a full week concluded his out of area between 5 to 6 hours a night. The ass kiss went to our about it HR dude said he has a note and we can't do shit about it. He then wrote ass kiss up for harassment and wasting company time policing this guy's behavior. I love it not only did the lazy employee win but the ass kiss got punished. Hilarious but I also would rather be working than hanging out in a bathroom for 6 hours. Even given what you said, the company would still be able to fire him. The medical issue doesn't give him unlimited power or anything, and even with IBS he still has to do his job. That's not what a reasonable accommodation means. In reality, the company probably doesn't care enough. Edit spelling. I'd rather pretend to work than sit on a toilet for six hours. Your co-worker is a G. IDK how some companies actually listen to the doctor's notes. I have very severe IBS and I provided a doctor's note to my work, and I still got in trouble constantly for using the bathroom too much and for too long 10 minutes, not 6 hours face with tears of joy. This is either a very sad story about a guy with severe Ibs Crohn's or even cancer who has to be at work because he is refused sick leave, and it's the only way he can survive economically. Or, it's a story about the laziest bum ever who happily wastes his life sitting on the toilet waiting for the day to end, just because he can. TBH I think George Costanza did something similar when he didn't know if he had gotten a job or not. Good think HR is inept. They only have to provide reasonable accommodations so spending 3-4 of your time in the shitter would likely fall outside of reasonable lol. I do have a moral objection here, but it's not to the person taking advantage of a broken system. It's to the broken system. Now, in a functional system where people were able to work based on their abilities, I could have a moral objection to someone taking advantage I'm not sure I would, but it's possible. But we're not in a functional system, so. I have always fucking loathed the cowardly shit-eating brown noser. Here's a crazy thought. Do your fucking job, and stop getting involved in the personal affairs of your co-workers. I don't even need any note to do this. As long as tasks are completed no one cares. I don't think OP has the whole story. Employers only have to offer reasonable accommodations. Six hours of shitting time is certainly not reasonable. If he truly needs that long, he should be apply for disability insurance and not working. This is why companies don't take people with disabilities seriously. We had a co-worker we called shit break. Anytime we had to do critical management of a patient seemed to trigger his GI tract to tell him go right now. He lasted about a year in the job when management suggested he transfer to a much lower acuity unit of the hospital. I wonder if I could do something similar. My boss is hell-bent on ending my WFH by the end of this quarter. I have IBS and Crohn's disease all documented and signed by my doctor. They still want me to come in starting Q1 I want to make them regret it. Just move his phone and computer into a cubicle. Flushable office chair. I've never consistently hit six in the toilet. But brown time with INS would typically for me be between 16-20 hours a week during a flare. My co-worker does the same shit, not to this extreme though. I fucking hate this person. Now we gotta pick up your workload and donate our time to their paycheck, hiding and not getting shit done? Waste of payroll. They would just fire for performance if this was real. Sounds suspiciously like something that never happened. LOL why you timing this dude shits? You realize that's weird right? 
This is fake. Companies can fire people who don't work even if they have a medical condition. You guys celebrate shit like this? Wow. This is not a reasonable accommodation under ADA. Your company is either has poor uneducated HR or doesn't care. Either way, he should be given unpaid leave FML he should be allowed to use accruals to supplement to treat his medical condition. Did the timing thing wa co-worker. Never planned on turning them in. Used it to see how much one could get away with. It also reminds me what is that saying the boss makes a quarter I make a dime that's why I shit on company time. That's pretty much this dude in real life. The fact they are paying lazy employee to do nothing is contributing to the fact you aren't getting paid more. For the record. I always managed to make sure that I took at least 45 minutes of bathroom break spread across my Amazon 10-hour shift. This guy is absolutely able to be let go but hey if HR ain't gonna do shit but let him shit then fuck it. I'd find a way to get a doctor's note to get out of stuff too. He should consider getting ostomy bag, if he genuinely in the bathroom for that long it really might improve his quality of life assuming this is legit and he has the same issue at home. If I had IBS and everybody thought I was faking because of the precedent set by people like this I'd be furious. They can fire him, though. For his IBS, all they have to do is make a reasonable accommodation, and I don't think a court would rule that six hours on the toilet is reasonable. Sounds like the boss is too ignorant to know that. Yea, one can beat the system, but they are probably depressed hiding in the restroom for hours on end. Doom scrolling in the stall can't be great for the mind. This is just pathetic all around and no one's behavior is to be praised. On the scale of fakeness, with one being as true as something on anti-work can be half true, and ten being completely made up karma farming bullshit, I give this post an eleven. Your co-worker sounds like an asshole. Spent one four of his life pretending to shit what a pathetic existence. That's not how it works, at least in America. He can ask for reasonable accommodations but unreasonable accommodations can be denied. If he really has to be on the toilet that much he should apply for disability. As someone with Crohn's disease don't fucking do that. Not only because sitting on the shitter for hours on end for several days will lead to hemorrhoids and pressure sores, but because playing up your illness to get a pass makes it difficult for people actually suffering from such diseases to be taken seriously. This sounds genuinely awful and I cannot believe you are excited about having to work with someone like that. What a ridiculous post. Your co-worker is a loser tbh. Wow, cool story of something that totally happened. That co-worker is a selfish lazy jerk and should be fired. If this is true, what a sad and pathetic person. At least if you're at your desk half assing it you can talk to colleagues and have fun with other people. Hanging around for six hours a day in a bathroom stall by yourself, how sad and depressing. Funny how when people defend this sub it's all high-minded ideas. But you read the sub and you get this. You work at the office, you're our guy sounds like Toby and your shitting co-worker is maybe possibly Kevin. I need to meet this person so they can teach me their ways. They could switch to very cheap and unpleasant toilet paper and install those light sensor that turn the lights off forcing to stand up and wave at the sensor just to not poop in the dark. Additionally, if they make it so Wi-Fi reception is terrible in the john then those six hours a day on the throne will be less enjoyable. What a legend. Used to work with this guy who left a rolled up blanket in the bathroom at work, and he'd go in there and sleep for six hours per shift. Worked here for two years before they fired him lol. Also we had a bad cockroach problem, this guy was pretty nasty lmao. Funny story, but I highly doubt this is true. A company has to make reasonable accommodations. Letting someone sit on the toilet for their entire shift is unreasonable. This guy would have gotten fired after day one. 